to a bit of a sobering topic, um, something that you faced immediately after the government took over, which is this devastating and um, um, the, the floods that hit the state. Uh, I think in, in a space of two or three days, um, um, centers, including urban centers, were um, deep underwater. The response, um, what I learned um, secondhand, of course, of the Honorable Chief Minister himself, you, the bureaucracy, parking their vehicles and buses next to that station, having meetings there. Uh, some of the officers told me that the Honorable Chief Minister would roll up his trousers and be in the flood water often almost every day. But I don't think we've seen that kind of response anyway. Plus the use of technology, not just the emotional touch, but also the use of drones, AI, big data, um, using drones to deliver food packets on buildings and then saying we can't do enough because we can only do one building at a time and up to 40 kgs of delivery on a, on a drone that was remarkable. All of this coming together for disaster management, again, something we've never seen uh, in India at this scale. One of the officers told me that he knew in which lane how many refrigerators had been spoiled because of flood and then worked with the private sector to kind of have that fixed. So could you talk a little bit this, I know it's a disaster, it's a terrible human tragedy, but also incredible opportunity to learn about disaster management using technology and human touch in equal measure. The flood that we had recently was one in 248 years event. And as, uh, you know, things are changing and we're going to have once in a century events happening more often. So as a state, we understand that. But this flood definitely caught us off guard. It was a flash flood. In greater parts of the city, we had more than six foot water. So, and it was the first time that we had to handle floods. As a state, we've handled cyclones and we've ex we have expertise in that. But then Mr. Naidu being Mr. Naidu said, why can't we use drones for delivery? And I remember quite a few of the operators saying, that's not possible. I mean, we've used it for agriculture purpose. Being an Indian, we call the Jugard model. Uh, we had a basket fitted, let's say, let's try it. And success, we actually managed to deliver food uh, I think it's, I wouldn't say that it was the best model. I think it was a great beginning because we didn't have enough of drones. So I wish I had 2000 drones, then I could have delivered breakfast, lunch and dinner to every house. But I just had about 40 drones. And with that 40 drones, we did do a pilot. And uh, I think it, it clearly gives a direction of what India can do. And we're seeing other nations use drones to kill people. But I think India shows the way of how we can use drones in terms of relief and rehabilitation. So I think there's a lot of work that we've done there. Saying that, the second bit was the entire rehabilitation. So relief was done. How do you pay money? How do you rehabilitate people? Again, we put all the models out. We had a sandbox. All the images of the water from CCTV, from our drone footage was put out there. We had all the education institu institutions across the country and in Andhra Pradesh take a look at it, give us suggestions, start working on the models to tell us at what day, what level of water was in which area. So based on the amount of water outflow to the terrain, to where it's getting discharged, we could understand that better. So our rehabilitation, the money we were giving, uh, you know, it was amazing. We did this entire thing. 15 days after flood receded, flood water receded, we, were, we doled out the money. And it was all done through online. I mean, online because thanks to Aadhaar, every bank account is connected. So we were able to marry technology in that sense much better. But saying that, I think it's very important to go back to the field. And that's something that Mr. Naidu used to do every day in the evening. So he would go out for four hours, waste deep water, jump in, understand, did things get delivered or not? Then feedback would come to us. I was manning the control room. So he would say, okay, food didn't get delivered in this house on this lane. And here's the lat long. And then we had to send the food. So I think that's always required. I think you need a feedback loop. The human loop is always required on how much of a technology you might have. So I believe we have a model to handle such crisis, uh, for, not only for Andhra, but for the nation. And one, one task we have taken up as a state is we'll get about 2,000 drones in the agriculture sector. A lot of the spraying, the pesticides and so on and so forth actually can be done uh, using drones. And then during an emergency, we can pull it out and use it for uh, relief activities. So I think it's a great learning experience. And as a country and as, I think as a, a nation, we're just learning. And how, how can we use this technology far better? I just want to stop here for a moment and just applaud the 